Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shit of all ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog for Wednesday, September 3rd, one day after my girlfriend's birthday, and I have two more days left to work. This vlog is going to be pretty short because I'm going to have to upload it from my phone before I go to work, but I wanted to let everybody know that I tested out the Razor Blade Stealth, which you see right in front of me, streaming Diablo on Twitch, and because of the 11th Gen i7 1165G7 processor, I had zero issues streaming Diablo directly from this laptop. So that is already a huge positive because I thought I'd need the big laptop to stream. I tested out OBS on my smaller laptop and it can also stream perfectly fine. Now I imagine there's probably gonna be more hiccups on games that can't reach 60 FPS at a higher setting. Like for example, Borderlands 3 or any other game that is more graphics intensive, like Mortal Kombat 11. But we'll have to run some tests, and maybe GeForce Experience will have to work as well. But I made a little bit of an experiment with OBS, and I can confirm that this beautiful OLED Razor Blade Stealth works perfectly fine. Obviously, there's a little bit of glare because I'm recording outside, and it's not 11 o'clock at night. The umbrella has stayed up perfectly fine. I can't close it for some reason. But the umbrella works perfectly fine. It is a beautiful day out. When I woke up this morning at about 10.30, 11 o'clock, it was 66 degrees out, which is like the perfect temperature to be outside. It's about 70, 72 right now, and it's not that horrible. And I really love the fact that my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra actually has dual camera support for videos. My Sony XR100 Mark 7 battery was depleted because I didn't charge it last night. I don't know why it like battery drains and doesn't shut off if you don't use it, but for some reason it does. I'd also like to thank Jalen, I don't know his last name, who works with me at Home Depot for the tier one sub last night while I was playing Dying Light. Tonight I'm probably gonna play Diablo 3 with Savage Wolf and Vince when I get home at 11 o'clock. And because I know that I can stream outside, you might even see me outside. So this headset that I'm using is the Sony wireless headset, and it actually works really well. If you guys hear the audio from my Twitch stream, you'll know firsthand how it sounds. But for a $100 headset, I'm actually pretty impressed. It also has a built-in microphone. You don't have to attach a cable to it. I'd say it's well worth the money. I just need to find a case for this headset, and I can start bringing it to work. Also, what I noticed yesterday before I went to work, this right trigger on my Xbox controller, and I'm kind of simulating it for Savage Wolf because we talked about that on stream earlier, it will not click in. It broke somehow sitting in my laptop bag. So I don't know if I like pushed it in too hard and now it won't work or if like a rubber piece got broke and I need to fix it. But that controller got rendered useless by keeping it in the laptop bag and probably smashing it on something. It's not like I have a whole lot of room in my house, so it's not like I can just keep the bag somewhere out of the way and not touch it up against me. But it's at the feet of my bed, and my feet probably push something in at night because I don't have a huge bed. So I ordered a blue Xbox One X Series X controller, the new ones that have the share button. I also saw an Elite Series 2 controller on sale because Savage Wolf fucked up the analog stick on the first one. So I had to get another analog stick. That's the problem when you play wrestling games and fighting games, you could have that issue. But I'm going to keep this vlog short and sweet because I do have to upload it before I go to work. Thank you guys all for watching this daily vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow, possibly at a restaurant for yet another daily vlog, as Mama Shono is on her way home now.